Peace, peace. What's going on, world? Peace. Welcome to another substantial live from home. We are super excited for tonight's show. Got some homies from the West Coast joining us tonight. They pre-recorded a really dope live performance that we're going to um, share with you in a second. And they're going to join us live for the Q&A right after. For those who don't know, my name is Substantial. Welcome to the um, the show, man. Just super excited to rock for y'all tonight. Um, the brothers who, you know, um, who I brought on, my man, um, Avacy and Orion Song. They're from San Diego. Super dope um, producer and a singer and songwriter, man. And they have great material. And I'm excited for y'all to hear it. But if it's your first time at the channel, make sure, even if it's not your first time, you know what it is. Make sure you say peace. Let us know where you're tuning in from in the world. That's always appreciated. And if you haven't liked this video already, please do so. Share it. All that good stuff, man. We we definitely want more folks from the community to come check it out because it's going to be a lot of great music. These are happening all year long. Um, and yeah, man, there's more to come. So I'm going to talk to y'all in a bit to let y'all know about the other announcements for things happening next month and later in the year. But in the meantime, in between time, um, oh yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. I'm trying to go down the mental checklist to make sure we get all of those things. But First and foremost, what I wanted to uh, remind everybody, man, this is it's a free event, right? All of these that I do are always free. You don't you're not expected to pay anything to in order to watch it. But just understand that those donations that we do get are split amongst me, the other artists who perform in it, uh, performing the night. We split it all evenly, regardless to who comes here to watch whoever. And then also part of that money goes to uh, my daughter, Serenity, who is our production assistant. There she is. Bow. Um, yeah. Who holds down all the technical stuff behind the scenes. So, yeah, man, definitely. If you can donate, it is greatly appreciated. But this show is for y'all regardless. It's all love. And you can do so via the Super Chat, um, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, however you see fit. But, man, stick around for the Q&A, too, uh, because there are lots of announcements coming, along with some dope merch that I'm going to share with y'all, some merch that was sold out for a while that we're about to have more of. So, yeah, man. So stick around. We're about to get into it in a second. All right. See y'all in a sec. Peace. you guys i go by avacy um it's a beautiful day in san diego i'm about to head into a boba shop and play some beats for you guys um thank you substantial for having us and we hope you guys enjoy Each one, teach one, we preach on Maryland and Cincinnati to the far east sun Have we just begun to spread the gospel Substantial pace rock, hip-hop, a pop Far from preaching with this art you call rapping Taking y'all back when before this all happened Grunting hardcore when you barely saw porn Never penetrating the inner to get your heart warm Rock on, at the ridiculous pace Disrespect hip-hop and I'll spit in your face These kids are a waste of oxygen Smadness, get in your case and all your shit Like back I eye on ya, like insanity grabbed ya Y'all see these packaging, and I can't stand rappers You're bound to get ripped, and then turned into garbage I stay blessed of mics, my followers pay homage So I'm staying blessing it, yes I am blessing it You V for life, oh yes we stay blessing it Pace, I'm blessing it, yes I stay blessing it Five these forever, you know we stay blessing it So I'm staying blessing it, yes I am blessing it You V for life, oh yes we stay blessing it Pace, I'm blessing it, yes I stay blessing it Five these forever, you know we stay blessing it All point like the 
pins we write with, living righteous In these times of peril and crisis, the pain that squeeze you lifeless yeah. What's the matter, who's the nicest, who's alive, who's gonna live to see the livest Hopefully me, my lifeline of MC, extends past the paying dues, how much it costs to be free Deep rooted underground, but on the circle, to branching out, all I ever really wanted to be They wanna put us in a box and then pack it away, but we ain't having that No parts, no which way, yo I'm going to the top and that's where I stay Fuck the middle ground, cold getting biz while you were sitting down The joint down, hitting around Freestyle or written down Flow is played out money, you need to get that shit in style Speedy on the quick fast, long term we make it last Whatever in the day, stay clear of the path Cause yo,
to all the ladies in the place with styling. Just 
Yo, welcome in. My name is Orion Song. I'm gonna sing a few songs for you guys, all produced by Avacy. Uh, this first song is entitled Windows off of my low key EP. Hope you guys enjoy. So if your door closed, I'll leave my windows wide open. And when the wind blows, that's how I'll know. Took a moment just to contemplate yeah. Dodge your hesitation, think it's time to go and tell you straight I seen this coming in high Counting all the seconds, talking ready or not Well, I'm ready, even if I feel empty So go, just go I know what you want I'm a man who understands I won't be mad at your heart If you gotta go, let me just say I just want you to know, know That if your door blows I leave my windows wide open And when the wind blows That's how I know Home in your safe I think of you always But I'm willing to let you go Oh, would you cry your heart out So this next track is entitled Low off of the Loki EP. Um, it's more of a lo-fi vibe for this one, so hope you enjoy. Notifications on my phone Through all the users, I see yours alone I know my post, I'm kinda liking how this goes But I can't let nobody know It's nice to know, nice to know You like when I'm tuning in And your likes will show Mind chat for a little bit Cause I want to know, want to know I see that you go with it But we can't say so Keep it on the low So much for stalking, now we're talking Tip it toe and at the same time I feel I'm walking Open conversations like ain't nobody watching But it's nothing to personal so we ain't stopping And so I drop in into your daytimes But I'm wondering if you think what's in the back of my mind Is what you wish could happen, wish that I could rewind It's so unfortunate
Cause it's nice to know, nice to know You like when I'm tuning in And the lights will show I chat for a little bit Cause I want to know, want to know I see that you go with it But we can't say so Gotta keep it on the surface I'm learning how to talk to you But nothing's working My inner working's really like you Shit, my stomach's turning on The burning passion that I can't get out of me Is really hurting How can I relate? How can I betray? My inner self because I saw your pretty face It's not enough to motivate me No, I know it's not my place But it's never ever gonna be that way Feel like I'm in denial I'm like a child so much bliss if you kiss me in this other world It's our G computer screens where you've been watching me I'm diving in the dark, you're the white pearl I'm not about to flirt, don't wanna get hurt Don't wanna hurt you, don't wanna do something I don't want to mm. I know for sure it won't work So for now I guess I'll just tune into you Yeah, damn Sign off for the hell of it Cause it's nice to know, nice to know You like when I'm tuning in And your lights will show for a little bit Cause I want to know Want to know I see that you go with it But we can't say so So we keep it on the Low Low, low. Yeah, I was really in my feels for this one And that was Low Off of the Low Key EP Thanks for listening Last track is a title chauffeur, some unreleased for you. Enjoy. Said I'm already on the way. Your voice is shaking in the voicemail. You say there's too much on your plate. Said I could put it all away for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Once again, my name is Orion Song. Thank you for listening. All songs produced by Avacy. Much love.
Hey, peace, peace, everybody. I hope you are enjoying the show so far. Clap it up for Avacy and Orion Song for doing their thing. Man, hashtag my friends are dope. Hashtag my friends are dope. Um, later on in the show, we're going to have a live Q&A, so you'll get a chance to um, actually hear from them, ask questions, all that good stuff. If you haven't donated to the channel yet, please consider doing so. It's greatly appreciated. But we're about to get into things. So uh, let's get into some music, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I figure they're so dope, we might as well keep that vibe going for a little bit longer. This right here is called Beautiful Work. Hopefully, y'all heard it by now. After C on the beat, or Ryan on the vocal slide. I'm writing to the sun call. Down and I'm writing for myself now. Writing till there's nothing left to say, and yeah, my people seek a brighter day. Ay, ay. And that's just what it comes to, even if my words don't reach you. I'm paying to my Listen. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. Life. This is more than work for high or something to impress a girl you with my. This is work to inspire. Eternal work, this kind of work don't expire. When the world felt died, this kind of learning's required. This is water when your soul's on fire. Deeper than the baritone tone and the soul for quiet. The voice of reason and experience who most inquire. How we started from the bottom, then rose to side. But I digress. The art of work is something to behold. Listen, I was just driven before I hit the road. Most wanna get gold before they ever reach the goal. Scared to fly, can't reach the destination that you chose. I suppose I'm a dreamer. Someone an anomaly, I'll be those who listen. I told my they one that I was going to be doing bodily Honda every beat they put in front of me. Nah, working on that newness. <laughs> Since there's nothing left to say, and yeah, my people seek a brighter day. Hey, hey, comes to you. Listen, yeah. Did it for me, I pray that it benefits you Rigorously got trained till my brain it withdrew Literally in pain but I took it and grew Turned misery into paint, now look what I drew Portrait of a man forced to stand without an easel Through any circumstance, stood taller than a steeple With little in his hand but plenty in his heart Hell bent to make his mark, went for feeble the regal Trying to be the joy that inspired me Hard to hear your voice when the choir sings Found what made me unique and walked on my own beat But our team rejoined with the harmonies Music's a pharmacy and I'm a big drug of choice So enjoy this dopeness, opium as an opus Got you open like lotus, flowers in midsummer Actions louder than words, so if you don't hear from us Remember that, sun go The war till my people hurt no more ay, ay. Just what it comes to, comes to. You, I'm pain to my, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my brothers, Avacy, and the homie Orion song. It's a really interesting story about how we uh, connected, uh, in particular, how I connected with Orion. And we're going to jump into that later. And man, shout out to y'all donating in the super chat. And those of you who donated in other ways, I appreciate it. Yeah, let's get into some things. I think it's it's showtime. It's been showtime, but I need to stretch out, get loose. Yeah, you know I mean, let's on, see what we can up. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. It's showtime. My people on the left. My people on the right. Come on, buckle up, people, for the ride of your life. Come on, everybody. People on the left, uh-huh. People on the right, yeah, listen. Check it. Rock stages for all ages Sold out spots and shot faces Like we brought in cock gauges This ain't a robbery But keep your hands raised Stand slaves with a composition My man plays with my man Burns on the wheels 
spit You ain't heard Then observe If you will spit Words that I feel It's evident This medicine serve in the air We're a third of the bill But rock it like Nobody else touching the stage They need it like They ain't had a good Hump in the days But we bring it to them Raw and dirty You all are worthy Of a phone So you better call it early Probably won't hit stage To midnight You can sing along As long as you sing The shit right This the type of joint That make the crowd Get hype Gentlemen Ladies It's going down baby Everybody it's showtime. My people on the left. Hey, uh huh. My people on the right. That might have been your left, though. Buckle up, people, for the ride of your life. Come on, everybody. It's showtime. My people on the left, left, left. My people on the right, right. Listen, lyrics. Beat knocks so hard the speakers bleed internally. Precision cuts you've only seen in surgery. Still a show, change your stage name to burglary. And drop gems like these with butterfingers. Recognize the energy your brother bring you. So sharp, I brush my shoulders off and cut a finger. Go y'all and pump your fists like girl on girl action. Bless cause this lets me tour the world rapping. Effortless, how I hurl the words at them. Step to this, feel assured it's pure action. We do this for a living. We're living when we do it so the music is a given. What you giving to the music, we give it a buck ten. Over percussion. Whether we did our thing in this up to discuss shit Master the art of making something out of nothing Hip hop makes some noise, yeah Bring the drums in like everybody Come on My people on the left, it's showtime My people on the right, it's showtime Come on, buckle up people for the ride of your life Come on everybody, it's showtime My people on the left, left, left My people on the right, right Let's break it down like if you don't, you've never heard this joint before, that's cool. It's from a project called Substantial Burn. Shout out to my man Burns out of Pittsburgh, who produced this joint. 2009. Come on, everybody. It's showtime. My people on the left. Hey, uh huh. My people on the right. Come on, buckle up, people, for the ride of your life. Come on, everybody. It's showtime. My people on the left. Uh huh. That's your right. People on the right. Uh huh. That's your left. Life. Thank you very much. Good night. That was the late great Richard Pryor right there. Speaking of the late great, rest in peace to my brother-in-law, uh, my man Junior. Yeah, man. It was the anniversary of his passing the other day. Yesterday to be exact. Salute to all our loved ones that we lost too soon. We're going to do this joint. This is the original version of Day in Life when it was just a solo joint. Just another day in the life Just another word in the mic Just another bond to be Just another grind in the street Come on, take a ride with me Just another moment of time Just another flow in the rhyme It's just another song I wrote Just another kind of dope Shout out to Marcus D Moonrise cycle like cussing the day Meanwhile my mic's off I search for something to say While I seek for sound Will it be profound Over hollow shell With no rhyme or reason Nowadays it's hard To find a reason to rhyme With days when the blind Lead in the blind And it feel like the masses Don't believe in your kind It's hard to win When they already defeated your mind Take the head and the body will follow That's why the brain dead needs somebody to follow Because it's hella hard to find a leader within Pops ain't around, you don't see a leader in him Sent weak in the mint Our brothers read the keepers of them So why we barely speak to our kin All this talk about bling, still in need of a gem I breathe life in the words when I bleed through my pen And it's just another day in the life Just another word in the mic Just another bar on the beat just another grind in the street Come on, take a ride with me Move along now Just another moment of time Just another flow in the rhyme It's just another song I wrote Just another kind of dope Listen been paying my dues since a small child get battered and bruised when you fall down it's mandatory it come with the territory never scared of hard work it's better for me take a loss or two then you get the glory a couple battle scars make for a better story grind hard don't expect y'all to get it for me want what i deserve my tactics ain't predatory bad karma miss me with that drama we don't associate with savages that lie on me and my brother marcus i'm in the word whether you're in the hood or you're living the burbs you gotta respect the sound and I will to preserve Hip hop, we don't play like the injured reserve Sit and observe, unimpressed with it's that we heard But we bring it from the soul when we fill it with verve And it's just another day in the life 
Just another word in the mic Just another bar on the beat Just another grind in the street Come on, take a ride with me Move along now, just another moment of time Just another flow in the rhyme It's just another song I wrote Just another kind of dope Come on, get in line, let's go Just another thing in the life Just another word in the mic Just another bar on the beat Just another grind in the street Come on, take a ride with me Just another moment of time Just another flow in the rhyme It's just another song I wrote Just another kind of dope Come on, get in line, let's go Let's go, let's go Hope y'all feeling good Hey man, thank y'all so much, man To the folks who donated And just thank you for being here If you can't donate, it's all good, man We just happy to see everybody up in this joint Shout out to the homie Melon Shout out to the homie Katie Fox Shout out to the homie Malcolm Jackson We gonna talk about him later Listen Here to put a stop to the anguish But they don't understand like I'm speaking the dead language The Bible big before I was ever Anguish battle with friends and mourn for dead strangers I was bred dangerous but peace is the objective Easily subjected to the heathens I connect with Seem to be respected amongst the beast of my collective Ignored by the masses so I speak to the rejected And the speakers are connected just to amplify a voice They ain't built for the journey but I never had a choice Doubt is loud at the fear so I'm drowning out the noise They don't know who we be like DMX and the boys So to those who ain't been informed I am fire in the winter storm First blooming flower when the when it's gone Solitude sang by Sarah Vaughn Every note is integral And grace the minimum When the pressure's on If you ever die with me <laughs> Shout out to Millen once again Him and Orion out here With the silky smooth vocals Shout out to Steph Who we heard a second ago On that last drum Claws, eyes on the prize, sharpen my teeth, on food for thought, pride on the side. Got in the week, put up my paws, lies on the line. Walk on the beast, no matter how hard I find the fires. Inclined to find a way when everyone in view. Trying to shine, but can't save every one of you. This kind of design is made just for a humble few. Some don't mind the minds and lose, no matter what I do. I do what hunters do. Fam, I love pregnant eat. And the tongue that I speak is a drum in the beat. That's guiding you through the rhythm of life. If you dare to dance, out here shedding light and help people. Lift out the trance King shut our phones in the night And can't advance Till we rearrange the game And opponents shit in their pants Strengthen our stands Pinning our hands Looking like weapons Those that overstand What we sing And they see the blessing Like If you ever Hey listen I don't know if you can see That sweat beating off my forehead But it is hot as Africa In this joint right now boy <laughs> Hey Jo hey, shout out to Joe Sewer, man. Peace, peace. Good to see you in here, bro. Yeah. That's another talented individual. Hey, man. Shout out to so many dope people in the chat right now, man. A lot of times, folks be in here on the humble, and some of you have no idea how dope some of the people who are in here with you are. You know what I mean? But listen, part of building community, right? If you like a lot of what the people in here are talking about, be sure to hit them with a subscribe, you know, subscribe to their channel. Follow them on platforms Learn about them They're doing dope things But let's get to more music That's my brother Pismo right there And Marcus D on the beat Once again like Yeah Oh that's the album right there too Hold on I feel like I did that on purpose That album's out right now Pismo and Marcus D Support that It's dope Yeah Bar Tough Hit them with the bars like, like this, like this, Santa. Hey, I'm going out because I just got paid. Better watch every little step I take. Poem must sway. Let's hear it for the boy. Don't disturb this groove. Let the people enjoy all night long. Then it's back to life. Give it to me, baby. If that's all right, I like it. Let your love come down so hot. Better cool it now. 
don't stop Never too much, never too much Sweetest taboo, uh, never knew love like this before Baby girl, let's cruise Vibe on a milli when I think of you Smooth operator, rock steady to the beat Ride home in the whip, playing 80s R&B Caribbean, queen of the party The one I want when I wanna dance for somebody So what's up? So what's up? To the top Let it drop Midnight around the clock So Shout out to Pismo Pismo is like the underground Joe And uh, shout out to my members of the black community That's in this joint right now If you're a part of the black community And you know You know what I'm saying You, you Lil, Lil Hood You know who Joe is You should know who Joe is You know what I'm saying Pismo is like the underground Joe And shout out to my man Deacon The villain from Cunning Language He like the underground Nate dog. You know what I mean don't stop, don't, uh, don't quit, ayy. Don't stop and you say don't quit, uh. Don't stop and you say don't quit, ayy. Don't stop, uh-huh. Don't stop, don't die, don't quit, ayy. Don't stop, don't quit, yeah. Uh-huh. Tsunami up in this joint pieces. Joshua McGee up in this joint. Good to see the regulars up in here. Appreciate y'all. Hope y'all having a good time. Don't quit. Uh huh. Y'all feeling good? If you're feeling good, oh yeah, y'all can clap it up for yourselves. You know what I mean? Let's get into some more. This right here, check my resume from Home is Where the Art Is. This joint right here is produced by Odyssey. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Listen. Name substantial. Address none ya. Be more resident, but people know I'm from the county where the prince is a G. It's no wonder that even in the dead of winter, the block is live as summer where dudes got that work. But I'm job most selective past the line. That is second, you will find my objective. I'm seeking a position that'll further my development while fattening in my pockets, cause I don't rhyme for the hell of it. Need my work experience and past employers. Down with Q and five, former UVA owner. I used to be with hot out in the late great. Do your best wherever I go, my motto be great. Do your best responsible for making sure we stay super fresh locally and globally. Why they help me get these groceries? I keep the fan feeding, I keep the fans feeding, and hit them with the potency of a professional dope of C. I can't speak for these other guys, but you can check my resume, man. I'm certified, yeah. Why would I lie, bruh? Nobody as fresh as this hip hop. Check my references. I can't speak for these other guys, but you can check my resume, man. I'm certified. Yup, you could put them high up. Listen, I should be your first pick long before the second interview. Third LP, four out of five minimum. Even with short pockets, stood taller than a sentinel. Drive uncanny, not your average individual. Think I graduated from the Xavier Institute for School of Hard Knocks, where I took my classes, where I got my master of ceremony tactics. My poor righteous teachers taught me to make only classics. You may know me as this educator and a vocalist, but who the hell you know's a team player and a soloist? Dressed to impress, but I'm fly when I'm playing too quick. And- we will hire them again, so fire them if they lame. I come for what's my work around the clock. I can keep up with the time since elementary. I flip the dub from a dime while they get the pink slip. I get the dub, but you now listen. Can't speak for these other guys, but you can check my resume, man. I'm qualified. Yup, you could buy, bruh. Why? Come on, man, for hire. You check my preferences. Can't speak for these other guys, but you could check my resume, man. I'm certified. Yup, you could put them high up. Hey, man, for high, you check my references. Let's get it, let's get it. Go to work, go to work. Let's get it, let's get it. Go to work, hey, let's get it. Hey, go to work, go to work. Let's get it. Hey, hope y'all feeling good. Let's stay with home, is where the art is for a minute. I haven't done this song in like three or four years. Can't make no promises. We'll see how it goes. I'm rolling the dice. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that video before the show too, man, where we uh, 
show how the the whole process setting up for the day is like. Here we go. Hey, everybody in the spotlight. Uh, come on, everybody in the chat say, come on. Everybody in the spotlight, come on. Got you yelling in your house like, come on. They looking at you crazy, come on. It's so good, we gonna do it like, come on. Keep it rocking, everybody say, come on, listen. Man, it's hard when you see more bills and checks That's why I push an XB for wheels, no Lex But I write dig at night just to deal with stress Walk these digging V streets like I'm still the best Even though I got an overdrawn account waiting on collab money Front and ass promoters refusing to ask for me State trooper telling me creeping the back up me Traffic violation, they calling the Calvary Shit ain't adding up, but you don't need a math degree I'm here laughing at shit that really ain't that funny But hey man, life ain't perfect Made something out myself with next to nothing to work with Found my purpose While looking for answers Why looking for purses Baby looking for pampers Got me looking for paper to feed our needs and our wants So a slice won't do When you're in need of a chunk Of the proverbial pie So when shit try to hope This incentive to go get us About to get some results So them penny for thoughts can add up When they get on your mind Especially when you got a little shit on your mind I'm saying There was no use crying over spit milk Big deal if you fall it can still help So I'm a the laughing Instead of crying And I'ma stick to living Instead of dying No time for quitting I keep climbing In my darkest hour I keep shining Even when sunset He keep rising Self up Kick off And deep grinding Till I take these words Make the Hey listen Fuck a plan B Your plan A is when You can quote me God With the mic stage A pen I am going hard While my friends took a break I was taking chances Labels filling the kid But they trying to take advantage Every other week of the month I'm like damn They're starving Bamas is trying to feed me canned shit I know I'm hungry Okay More like famished But I done seen things That have made a grown man cringe But I still will heal With no bandage Found a way to still paint pictures With no canvas And I'ma manage Cause challenge I'm used to Got every single Reason to fail I refuse to With little promo No investment Skeptics can make This roll on To success shit Hectic the way I'm barely eating Man I should be Anorexic Everything's backwards I ain't even dyslexic Check it Try what other people Suggested But being anything Other than me's Out of the question Found a way to win What others didn't expect it Underdog tampered The decade Respected Yeah Uh huh Yeah I can still help So I'ma stick to and instead of crying And I'ma stick to living instead of dying No time for quitting, I keep climbing In my darkest hour, I keep shining Even when sunset, he keep rising Pick myself up, shake it off, and keep grinding Till I take these coals and make diamonds Always make the best of the situation that I'm in Yo, it's no use Like, yeah Everybody in the chat say, yeah Everybody in the spot, like, yeah Keep it rockin' like, yeah Keep climbing In my darkest hour, I keep shining Even when sunset, it keep rising Pick myself off, shake it up, and keep climbing Till I take these clothes and make diamonds Always make the best of the situation that I'm in, yeah <laughs> What'd you say, Ren? Yeah <laughs> The master We taking it from 2012 to 2017 yeah. If you don't move the crowd and ain't a master of the ceremony over microphone controller, you would not a MMC. See? So don't ever disrespect the homie world class title holder born to raise an MMD. Gonna get the party quite and quick and then trip it with Vaca Rinna, so they're gonna clap for me. <laughs> but I ain't talking booty cheeks slick with the duty speak shit talk mastery Listen, I am moving with a blue pen Samurai champ, Lou, be damned if I can Lou And if I did, I put two L's together, make a W Dumb of you, compare a substantial to a substitute All I do is win, but that clearly ain't your thing Then again, you're more T-Pain than painting I'm art personified, or heart magnified But about 105, no doubt, come alive Hands up Hands up. Shout out to the other guys. OGs. Oh, I be like, 
fuck off the stage bump You ain't doing shit, no need to tell them to say some Crowd look well rested, it's time to get adjusted Cop food, drinks, had time to digest it I'ma make it look like they were part of my live show No clue, no voice hotter than Cairo Told the spot when I dropped my payload Got them going wild, but it ain't raining no pesos They do what I say so, my presence demands it A veteran standard, hey, what's better than stand shit? I sever their hand if they extended to grab this And shit on everything like I never been pampered I son them like Frederick Sanford I've been a G but I don't sell trash Just so I can make a living B I'm art personified or heart Magnified but by 105 No doubt come alive Get them hands up Hands up Listen I be tearing up the stage like I'm ripping up floorboards You don't keep them engaged, you just leg on the floorboard I have them in the craze, they gon' leave with their core sore Body crowds for days like terrorist warlords Light up a scoreboard, I go hard as a mug I'm a titan, I throw swords, throw arm with a scud If you like them, you so raw, dope bug When the plug sight, sicker than cold sores, go for a dub Pig at the door, or pig in advance This ain't your regular show, that's why you even can dance No need to hold up the wall, it got plenty of beans you you could throw up your arms, and if you're feeling the screen, two tables and a mic, that's what I call rocket gear. Turn all the way up, it's gonna get real live in here, cause I'm all personified, all heart, magnified, but about 105, no doubt, come alive. Hands up, everybody get them hands up. In the chat, put them hands up. Uh huh, it's like, eh, uh, uh, to follow me, uh, uh, eh, uh, uh. To follow me, yeah, 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 to follow me, and let me show you how to tear it down properly. I hope y'all feeling good. Oh, thank you, thank you. Happy birthdays, bat mitzvahs, baby showers, the Armageddon, one time only. All oh, but they try justice for all been alive, fighting to live and I'm raw till I die. Freedom is all in the mind. Listen, ain't shit but what I've been saying. They tell us pray, but we've been praying. They tell us vote, but we've been voting. They tell us march, but we've been marching. Talking change, but they've been talking. Get it cracking and make it happen today. These bammers block a progress, so get them out of the way. For 100 years of struggle, how long are we supposed to wait? Giving y'all solutions to problems we ain't create. All these black lives matter, bro. Whether we in the stage, in the streets, millionaires, or making minimum wage. Gay girl trans made you dance, do more than just entertain. This world ain't shit without us. I know you know what I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm just saying. Uh huh. I'm just saying what I've been saying. You know what I'm saying? They can't kill us, although they try. Justice for all been a lie. Uh huh. Fighting to live and I'm brawl till I die. Freedom is all in the mind. Yeah. Black father, black artist with a black business. Married to a black woman raising black children. Black love, black teachers sharing black thoughts. Shout out to black root, black boot, black boss. Feel the safe, but they don't guarantee my safety. Trying to rewrite history before they ask for race me. Love it when I'm rapping, but ask for action, they hate me. Maybe they hating because I'm everything that they can't be. Tell me, was the love for us? There they cops on the hunt for us. System isn't just to us. Some white folks think it's just for us. So System ain't helping much Truthfully you're fucking up You're one of us Black women originated Every one of us Van Glorious Protected by RBG Look past the me Your mind manifested And see the real be But really This moment feel different I hope it stick But I'm just saying What I've been saying On songs you skip But I'm just saying <laughs> Yeah Uh huh I'm just saying What I've been saying you know what I'm saying? They can't kill us, although they try. Justice for all been a lie. Fighting to live and abroad till I die. Freedom is all in the mind. Blackity, black rapidly raps for your man. This is brought to you by a black dude named Stan. Hey, and I'm just saying that freedom is all in the mind. It's like freedom for the people. Today, freedom for the people. Today.
Hey, my babies. <laughs> oh, Shecky Ducky. Time for some chillaxation. Shout out to Marcus D. That last track was produced by me, though, but I sampled something that Marcus D played, so it worked out. You know what I mean? Marcus is always with me. Listen. Chill out yourself, girl, blah, blah, blah. Wind down, lose your top like Mardi Gras. Been cool since MC Light, ta, ta, ta. On my grown man, Steve, since my papa died in 89. But your boy sub smoother than Jeff. Get mine anything, otherwise, stupid as shit. By design, I'm as cool as they get. The proof in the spit. With wifey looking sweeter than the cooler she sip. A little sax on the beach just happens to be exactly what you need when I rap to a beat. You hang to every syllable. A word, phrase, a sentence so cold I should change my name to cryogenics My intention is to be your new provider for chill Slay you with the rhyme with you with my get the scale Don't matter if I got me a fistful of dollars I'm MD like Marcus Initials Who hotter than sub? Just a little chillaxation It's just a little chillaxation Baby, don't be shy Just a little chillaxation Finger in the sky uh-huh. Raise your coat 45. <laughs> Relax your mind. Let your conscience be free. You're now rocking to the sounds of SNMD. Destined to be refreshingly free. Give any additives. All natural flavors, what we packaging. Strictly the best, bow down to none. Organic, raw talent, come get you some. Cause I got plenty juice, y'all dying of thirst. Mimicking my movements straight, trying to rehearse. Cock diesel, wet chickens, gas since 87. Comp, wish I would quit. They have to wait in heaven, cause old, the new school don't matter, I'm never failing. Now they woman winking at me, like several paling. She wasn't really ready for the job, my dude. On mics, I go dumb like a I'm smart as you. Genius can hardly walk with y'all on the penis. Kick plenty ass, gotta wash off my sneakers, you know? Just a little chillaxation. Just a little chillaxation. Baby, don't be shy. Uh huh. Put a finger in the sky. Raise your coat 45. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> And we're gonna two-step it on out, like, uh, uh, yeah, my daughter laughing at me right now. Don't even care, uh, <laughs> yeah. I hope y'all having as much fun as I am. It's a little slice of Africa in this joint, but we rock it now. Eh. Oh, smooth it out real quick. Okay. Here we go. A classic called QT. Uh huh. We gon' work it out. Yes, I said get we gon' work it out. I know we will, everybody. We gon' work it out. We gon' work it out. You know the deal. Sing it. Come on. We gon' work it out. Yes, I said get. Uh huh. Come on. We gon' listen. My folder is it yours, hardly kick it anymore. Yo, I love to do it all with you, but I can't. The vibe was fine with no kind of time. Grind with someone fine as you. So we ran and rave instead of pant and bathe. Like romance is played, I know it can't be true. I'd rather love and please, touch and tease, hug and squeeze, or just dance with you. Used to phone, bone, till we're home alone. Where we moan and groan like love is due. But the mood get worse, you're confused and hurt. You think the music's first, and you're number two. I'm trying to show you different. I hope you listen. If you don't, I'm fitting to be out of my mind, so let's get out of Dodge. Get us a large, can I get a massage and some quality time? I'm saying, so hit me when I can speak it so we can hook up a meeting and whatever spot you frequent, or we could just spend the weekend and sneaking and creeping, no sleeping, keeping the furniture squeaking, hit it on what you're teaching. In other words, all I'm needing, you to hear what I'm speaking. We can hook up a meeting and whatever spot you frequent, or we could just spend the weekend and sneaking and creeping, no sleeping, keeping the furniture squeaking, hit it on what you're teaching. In other words, all I'm needing is you. We gon' work it out, y'all say it. We gon' work it out. I know we will. Uh, we gon' work it out, you know it. How does poetry sound? We can go to a lounge, girl. I'm hoping you down. Oh, you are that's dope. Got real jig before we left the crib. I bet it's brick. Now let me get my coat. 
Cause if it is, it's just another reason to get real close and stay warm with that that and stay home. Cause sometimes doing nothing at all, something special. I could just come through the job, come and get you, take you on a date and do something unexpected. Cause time in relationship terms is an investment. Let's not waste it. Yes, I'm anxious. Cause none at all can test our patience. Hit me when I can speak it so we can hook up and meet in the weather spot. We freaking, we can spend a week in the, in the creeping, no sleeping, keeping the furniture squeaking, hit it and what you're teaching. Another was all I'm meeting. You to hit what I'm speaking. We can hook up a meeting in the weather spot. You frequent no weekend, just spend a week in the sneaking and creeping, no sleeping, keeping the furniture squeaking, hit it and what you're teaching. Another words, all I'm meeting is you. We gon' work it out. You say it, we gon' work it out. I know we will. Uh, uh. We gon' work it out, you know that we gon' work it out, you know the devil singing. Come on, we gon' work it out, you know we gon' work it out. I know we will. We gon' work it out, you know that we gon' work it out, you know that devil. Uh huh. Yeah, some more Bob Alloy for you. Hey, everybody sing along. Hey, hey, hey. <coughs> Get my singing voice. Everybody sing along one time, ay, ay, ay. Everybody sing the joint real loud, ay, ay, ay. Everybody sing the joint last time, ay, ay, ay. Trying to better myself every year but falling short Do it for growth with the focus on cheers at long support Polish a cut back on all of the beers that I had bought Less of my efforts to get some clear minded thoughts Clearly I'm at fault, hear me I'm a sport Making some new resolutions I fear are all for naught Still what I've been taught, steering toward the fall On the road to perdition frontier of all the loss What you gonna do, what you gonna change Try something new or remain the same Will you follow through, give up like a lame Time to start again, 90 RPMs What you gonna do, what you gonna change Try something new or remain the same Will you follow through or give up like a lame Time to start again, listen she wanna be ready for beaches That's why she barely been eating Depriving the body of anything Golly get pressing these heathens Any new dagger she find on the blog She pressing the legions Getting these smaller and she would dissolve What is the reason? Blind like a Venetian Crying from all of the teasing This ain't attack on the titan She fighting them in the demons Trying to pick up the pieces Find what she been seeking Promise to finally love her true self Tis the season What you gonna do? What you gonna change? Try something new Or remain the same Will you follow through? Give up like a lamb Time to start again, 90 RPMs What you gonna do, what you gonna change Try something new, or remain the same Will you follow through or give up like a lame Time to start again, listen What you gonna do, what you gonna change Try something new, or remain the same Will you follow through or give up like a lame Time to start again, 90 RPMs What you gonna do, what you gonna change Try something new, or remain the same same. Will you follow through or give up like a line? Yeah. Everybody sing along. A, A, A. Go high. Everybody sing the joint real loud. A, A, A. Everybody sing the joint real loud. A, A, A. <laughs> Everybody sing the joint real quiet. A, A, A. <laughs> Rest in peace, the new Jabez. One of my favorite tracks we ever did. Yeah. Wait before the clouds depart. Wait until we out of the dark. If the future's bright, then the present is an overcast. And we want it to be over fast. Let's shine. Trying to get above the clouds without an aircraft. That is without a doubt such a rare task. Finding the hard to grin or just share laughs. So we vent when that drumstick and snare clash. No plan B, plan A's weak. Physically and mentally drained, and you can't sleep. Months more overdue over last week. Of your future self below a vast peak. While people walk by like they can't speak. Ignore, cause without rich shit, spoiled the door isn't a realistic picture. This the picture, but you still take a shot and develop it for the hell of it and pray when you 
you be well event and put your best on you're no longer worse off working at a job you hate for a jerk off you just want to be kissed by the sun when your daughter's always safe in the midst of having fun having some will more than do when you're used to having none disregard the chatter from no but those who have it won while you're waiting for the clouds to part pardon me y'all if our future's bright, then the present is an overcast And we want it to be over fast, let's shine For the clouds to part, come on, y'all If our future's bright, then the present is an overcast And we want it to be over fast, let's shine Come on, let's shine, come on Visibility's low, but I don't let it cloud mine Let's shine Visibility's low, but I don't let it cloud mine Uh-huh Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, man. That late winter in the spring months, man, is real rough. The anniversary of Nujibes' death is also the anniversary of my my father-in-law's death. And then in March is the anniversary of my father's death. And then in April is the anniversary of my brother-in-law's death. I don't really, like, speak on it, like, what's going through my mind a lot of times, but it definitely, you know, I'm always reflecting and thinking about them and stuff, man. You know? Yeah. Hope you're feeling good. Everybody in the spot say, Sabi love. Sabi love. But it seems like it isn't in the me and you is a blessing, see The hard we could never be Everything about you be compressing me But still, sweetheart, we could never be Say you want one night of ecstasy Thanks, but no thanks, we could never be Cause I got a wife at home that I'm blessed to keep And the fool around with you would be the death of me Can't add no ingredients to the recipe Cause it's not fair to you, no fair to me And Rome on Fort Elite sure isn't fair to her Sure you might have had a chance for I marry her But wifey's look more than life to me My soulmate and who am I to no fate Cause somebody like you much more than a cut buddy But I can't give you everything that you want from me So we can't be, we won't be Sorry love, we can't be we won't be sorry, love. We can't be. We won't be sorry, love. But it seems like it isn't in the cards for us. We can't be. We won't be sorry, love. We can't be. We won't be sorry, love. We can't be. We won't be sorry, love. But it seems like it isn't in the cards. I know she think could be the perfect man, but it seems like the most high had other plans. Besides, we know better than my brother, man. I can't run around like Mr. Lover, man. I gotta maintain and spend the rest of my life with the same thing. That's right, huh? Found the right one. Sound like fun. But I ain't risking that. Cause if I lose her, slim chance I get her back. And this is real life. It ain't Cinemax. I'm trying to hear my little sea feet go pit a pat. In the hardwood floors in the house we own. Yeah, you hot, you know. But it's not for sure. Not that anything's the matter with you. But there's no guarantee that I had it with you. And I can't look for uh, something you're not. And no need to look for what I already got. So we can't be. We won't be. Sorry, love. We can't be. We won't be. Sorry, love. We can't be. We won't be. Sorry, love. But it seems like it isn't in the cost for us. We can't be. We won't be. Sorry, love. We can't be. We won't be. Sorry, love. We can't be. We won't be. Sorry, love. But it seems like it isn't in the cost for us. Yeah. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I appreciate the love. Hey, I just saw Steph up in there. Love you, sis. Listen, this is for the things I don't say enough. Waiting for the day we touch. Your lips to mine, eclipse, solar luna. I'll see you soon, but talk to you sooner. This is for the things I don't say enough. Waiting for the day we touch. Your lips to mine, eclipse, solar luna. Leave, I turn my back and be my true love all alone in this cruel world. Where every single solitary day can do my best to secure a future for me and you, girl. Cause it is all about you, been all about you. Seconds feel like millenniums when I'm without you. But my mama said there'd be days like this and ain't jack we could do. That's the way life is, but it's been weeks since I felt your lips. And I'm a fiend for my queen, so I need to fix. Only for now, we'll settle for these talks on the phone. But I cut my arm off for a moment alone with the one I... 
in Rome, Paris, Amsterdam, or Japan, please know that I am. Think about my baby, gives my sense humanly possible. And I know you're frustrated because life has too many obstacles, but this is for the things I don't say enough. Waiting for the day we touch your lips to mine, eclipse, solar, lunar. I see you soon, but talk to you sooner. This is for the things I don't say enough. Uh, Waiting for the day we touch your lips to mine. I see you soon, but my dear, my dear, my dear, I know you. And I know very well that it's hard and it hurts and there's no need to cry Cause I will be home soon and ain't no limit to the things that we gonna do Whatever you want, name it and I make it reality To see my baby's face, nothing mean more than that To me it's far from flattery, I ain't trying to oppress you Truth is I miss you when it's hurting internally Sometimes these long trips feel like eternity But they say distance make the heart grow fonder But in this case it's proven to be fact So I'll be back like the T-100 And from miles away you gon' see me coming with the biggest smile you can see on my face cause even the hardest man on the planet leave nothing and nothing came the wild like a woman's in breast so well uh, this is one of the things I'm saying now waiting for the day we touch your lips to mine eclipse or the lunar I seek you soon but talk to you sooner this is for the things I don't say you're not uh, waiting and for the day we touch your lips to mine eclipse or the lunar I seek you soon but talk to you sooner I seek you soon, but talk to you sooner. I see you soon, but talk to you sooner. I see you soon, but talk to you sooner. Uh -huh. Yeah, R.I.P. Knew your best. Come on, R.I.P. Knew your best. Yes, yes, life. Shout out to my brother Funky DL. This is uh his remake of the classic joint Eclipse, produced by Knew your best. And I hope y'all feeling good, man. I hope y'all enjoying the show so far. We're going to fade that joint out. A little instrumental action real quick. Man, I hope y'all enjoying the show so far. Thank y'all so much, man, for tuning in. Show is not over. This is the end of the performance part of the show, but we're about to jump into the Q&A. We're going to take a quick intermission let a video that some of y'all have seen and i'm sure some of y'all might have missed we're gonna let that rock out in a second my pa aka my daughter serenity is gonna bring that up on the screen but uh real quick what's up oh, no, I was waving good. oh she was waving again gotcha so yeah if you can queue up that and then we'll get ready to uh switch over to this q a we're gonna bring avacy and orion back up in this joint all right but yeah, <laughs> gotta coach it. But yeah, man, y'all stick around. More show to come, and uh, we'll get into some things. All right, see you in a second. To put a stop to the anguish But they don't understand Like I'm speaking the dead language The Bible bit before I was ever fed Angus When the battle with friends Then more of the dead strangers I was bred dangerous But peace is the objective Easily subjective To the heathens I connect with Seem to be respected Amongst the beast in my collective Ignored by the masses So I speak to the rejected And the speakers are connected Just to amplify a voice They ain't built for the journey But I never had a choice Doubt is louder than cheers But I'm drowning out the noise They don't know who we be like the MX and the boys, so to those who ain't been informed, I am fire in the winter storm. First blooming flower when the winter's gone. Solitude, same by Sarah Vaughn. Every note is integral, we break the minimum when the pressure's on. Hold on my 
sleeve, dirt in my claws, out on the prize. Sharpen my teeth, won't move with thought, pride on the side. Guarding the weak, put up my paws, lies on the line. Call of the beast, no matter the cost, I'm fine with the fines. Inclined to find a way when there ain't one of you. Trying to climb, but can't save every one of you. This kind of design is made just for a humble few. Some don't mind the minds and lose no matter what I do. I do what hunters do, fam. I love praying, eat, and the tongue that I speak is the drum and the beat that's guided you through the rhythm of my life if you did to dance. Out here shining light and help people lift out their trance. King, check my pawns in the night and can't advance till we beat your range to game an opponent in their pants. Strengthen our stands, pen in our hands, looking like weapons. Those that overstand what we saying, they see the blessing. Peace, 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 peace. What is going on, family? I hope y'all enjoyed the show, man. Um, yeah, it's Q&A time. So at this time, if y'all got questions, you can start sending those over. We're going to have the homies uh, come back in here and join me. So uh, we're going to bring Avacy and Orion Song back in here, please. And thanks. Oh, Yo, what's up, y'all? What up, family? Lamb? Hey, man, how you doing? Good, good, good. I'm gonna see if uh, we can get. I'm gonna turn y'all up a little bit so I can hear y'all better. Let me try to fix this oh, yeah. a little bit too. All right, check, check. Y'all hear me good? Yep, yep. All right, all right. Perfect. Y'all are good. No echo for y'all or anything weird? Oh, we're good. Sweet. High five for Jesus. Let the church say amen. All right, cool, man. How y'all feeling, man? Good. We were just like vibing out during your set the whole time. I was like standing right here just <laughs> gigging, like. <laughs> Yeah, hey man, I'm listen. The advantage of y'all sending y'all set ahead of time was I was vibing out to it most of the week. Uh, so like I wanted to vibe to it now, but when this joint happens, it's a whole production. Like it's it's crazy. So I'm like nodding and working. Yeah, you know I mean it's, it's crazy. But y'all killed it, man. Great, great work. Likewise, obviously had the the little stunt. Like I'm gonna go ahead and get this boba real quick. This boba action popping. Oh. You know what oh, I'm saying? I'm jealous. I want boba. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right away, it's easy to see it. Yeah, man. But yeah, but thank y'all so much for doing this, man. Um, it's, it was definitely great to have y'all be a part of this and stuff. And people seem to respond really well to y'all music, as I knew they would. Um, you know, I've been watching you guys for a while. We've spoken a few different times and stuff about uh, collabing and other things that we're talking about down the pipeline. So it was it was dope to be able to get um, some of my audience hip to y'all, and you know, and hopefully some of y'all audience, uh, you know. Even though I've been around the block for quite some time, it's it's dope to still get discovered by people who maybe didn't know what was up before. You know what I mean? So, thank sure. y'all. You know. Yeah. No. Thank you. Like right back yeah. at you. Yeah, man. So I figured we uh, while because there is a delay, right? So when even though it's the Q and A, usually takes a little while for the questions to come in. So what I usually do is start with a question for y'all, and okay. uh, I'm gonna start with Orion, right? So. Um, if you could, could you tell them the story of how we connected? Because it's such a unique story. You know what I mean? Man, so when Sam was still working at one of his schools, um, he had a student that reached out to me because he heard one of, or he watched one of my ukulele videos. And so uh, 
I, uh, he just, he followed me and then like asked me for like tips on how to play a certain song. Then um, I, I went to check mutuals and you were the only mutual. And I was like, oh, you, you know, substantial. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, he's like, yeah, I'll tell him you said what's up. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. I guess. <laughs> but um, fast forward, you had a show in SD. Mm. And I was, I was only 20 at the time, but it was a 21 and up show. Uh, and yeah. I didn't realize it. I don't know how I missed the detail, but one of my, my, my older friends and uh, Norm was there too. Mm. Um, he, uh, Shout out to Norm Rock. Yeah. Seriously, he's he's a real one, but yeah, uh, he 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 got you to come outside real quick, and and you just you just gave me game for like the whole opener set, like like for an hour. <laughs> I was just like asking you questions and stuff, so it was just it was crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. Since then, yeah, it's just, it's just it's just been a blessing. So. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man, that that was super crazy. I I remember. I'll never forget that. Um that moment that I got the little, uh, the DM from my student, uh, you know, who was like, Hey, there's a guy outside of your show right now who wants to meet you. It was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's wild, man. I, I've, I've been hit up by my students over the years, like at random times and a few times while I've been on tour and doing different things. But that, that was probably one of the most unique messages I've ever gotten from a student and stuff. That was super cool, man. And you were, you know, you had like, I, I could tell that you were a little nervous and stuff because I'm sure like you didn't necessarily think that it was going to go down like that either, right? Oh, but um, <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. But it was super cool, man. And you know, I just in situations like that, I always think if I was in that position and I had the opportunity to meet somebody um, that I wanted to meet or like found inspiration in what they were doing, I would hope they'd give me. A little bit of time as well you know what i mean regardless and so uh so yeah man i try to you know like whenever i get the opportunity matter of fact there's a real dope interview everybody should check out sorry just slap the mic but um Jesus and uh Mero, they did an interview with denzel washington back in march which is one of their best interviews like because because denzel is a super new york dude like most people don't know but he he really he's Mount Vernon, New York, where Heavy D, Pete Rock and all of them are from. And anyway, um, he talks about how like the gifts and the blessings we have is, it's, you know, it's given to us. Right. Like we don't just kind of come out the womb with this. It's given to us and we're blessed with it. And so, you know, it's our job to to pass it on the way it was passed to us. We got to pass it on because we can't take none of it with us. And the quote that he said that's super hard is there there's no u-hauls following um uh, hearse u-hauls don't follow hearse right so you can't take everything with you so the knowledge that we have the blessings that we have yo it's our job to share those things and, and build with people who uh you know are looking to grow themselves so i'm always sure. happy to do that man and uh, happy y'all made time for it brother you know of course thank you yeah for sure for sure so let's get into these questions from the chat go go gadget All right, so who did the artwork for uh, Beautiful Work? Fellas, y'all want to tell them all about Ryan? Sure, yeah, yeah. So that was all through uh, through Ryan Espaleta. He's actually from Maryland, but he's Maryland. SD. So he's, he's like a really, really good friend of ours, too. Like, best friend. Yeah. Ryan's him. awesome, man. We, we've yeah. met a few times. I'm, we're working real hard on getting this cover art for my next solo album. Shout out to y'all for the, the link. You know what I mean? Great we also dude. Did the, uh, the, uh, the art that you saw during our segment of the, the live stream. So that little like mm. champion inspired, I'm holding the oog and Dylan's yeah. eating the, the donut. Yeah, that was all Ryan as well. So Yeah. So the whole flyer for the event, you know what I mean? All of the illustration was all Ryan. Just super dope with it, man. Shout out. Marilyn in here. Marilyn. <laughs> all right. What we got next? Uh, all right. There we go. Okay, what does your art mean to you? Obviously, you want to take that one? Sure, man. I don't even know where to start with that, but I guess in, like, the shortest, like, simplest terms, it means almost, like, absolutely everything. You know, like, I, like, grew up, like, playing music, like, my whole life. Like, that's, like, what I just knew, and, like, there was just a point in my life where, like, there's nothing else that I want to do other than, like, music. I was, like, so sure of it. I'm just, like, if it doesn't work, I got to find a way to make it work, and it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's shaped who I am. It's shaped, like, the way I view the world, the way I, like, make connections with people, like, I wouldn't be anything like without it. 
yeah, it's pretty much everything. Ditto, yeah. <laughs> like hundred percent. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, it's yeah, man. Art is. Uh, I don't know, man. It's there's something. Like, I feel like when we're creating, right? Like, I look at the word create and what that means. And we we talk about the creator, the most high, right? And how we view that. And so, um, like, to be able to create anything, like anything that can be art. Everything around us is art. So, um, I meet people sometimes who who kind of downplay. And I'm sorry if y'all hear background noise. We got choppers outside. It's crazy. Um, like helicopters, not not the other choppers, to be clear. <laughs> Uh, our neighborhood's pretty nice, um, <laughs> but um, but you know, it gotta be clear. You know what I'm saying? You never know who's watching. Um, but yo, when I when I talk about uh, with other people, because people love to say, "Oh, I'm not an artist," or "I'm not creative like you," blah blah blah. Like, and um, women in particular, man, are like the greatest artists ever because they create life. You know what I mean? So like, so art, I feel like, is our way of connecting whatever you believe in. Like we are literally connecting with whatever higher power when we create, right? Like, um, that's how I feel about it. So it's, you know, um, whether you're a person who believes in God given talent or just like, uh, or that combination of talent, uh, God given talent with, um, skill that has been developed and honed over time. Um, I feel like it's a great way with connecting with the creator and touching people lives in a way and inspiring people. Um, you know, so yeah, man, it means, it means like, like y'all said, it means everything to me for sure. Next. Hey, soul tiger. Shout out to soul tiger for the question. Any more collabs with the guy? So we did talk about something. There's a secret project that I'm working on um, for after I finish my next album. Uh, that I talked to the guys about contributing to. I actually talked to them about that before we did this. Uh, and I'm sure we'll fit, find some other stuff to work on for sure, man. Uh, they're dope, and I, I'm definitely with it. And, you know, I'm hoping that now that the world's starting to uh, open up a bit more, um, West Coast is one of my favorite places to tour, so so maybe we, we get some live collaborations happen. That'd be dope. Right, that'd be you know fun. I mean? Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Next. Okay. So you can go. Uh, you guys can go first. Oh no, my bad. I was just saying that. That's all. That's all. Obviously. So I'm that's for at least for beautiful work. I mix that and I produce that. But then I always send my stuff out to mastering just because I'm not super good at that just yet. But like for some of Orion's stuff, like I produce, I like mix. Like for um, all the tracks that he did for the for the live set, I produced those and mixed those too, and mastered some of them too. But that's true. Yeah. So yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Now nah, you you definitely got a great ear, man. Definitely got a great ear. Um, for my stuff, uh, like my beat tapes and all of the instrumental stuff, I've been mixing myself, um, and um, and also mastering that stuff. Um, you know, um. I'm a person to kind of learn out of necessity. It wasn't something I was trying to, I was, I'm not this guy that's trying to do all of it. I'm really not, I promise you. Um, uh, but you know, when I'm in a time crunch and people oftentimes don't have the time or like the budget's a little lower than I anticipated and what they need to get it done, like, you know, um, mix with the schedule sometimes puts me in a predicament where it's like, it, I just needed to know how to do this for those moments where the people I trust to do this stuff couldn't do it. Um, so like an album, like the past is always present in the future. I actually mixed about 95% of that album and mastered it. Um, where like a record, like, uh, home is where the art, uh, where the home is where the art is, was mixed by Odyssey. And then we had someone else master it. Um, my new album that's coming is going to be, I just spoke with Tone Deaf. I feel like Tone is probably one of the best um, mixers. It's funny, with a, a name like Tone Deaf, and then it's like, yeah, man, he got a great ear, though. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, man, he's going to be mixing my new album. And um, I got a couple people in mind for mastering. I might use K Murdoch again. Shout out to K Murdoch, um, who produces a lot of stuff for Mega Ran. He's an amazing audio engineer does stuff for like vice um a lot of audio work for them so um shout out to him yeah man. next warpath warpath 
<laughs> sure. You know what I'm saying? Look, but like most rappers ain't st- stunting with African <laughs> necklaces, you know what I'm saying? But sure, you know. So nice. I can see that good. So it's hand done. Um, this was made um, in West Africa. I believe one of my former co-workers, uh, educator that I knew, and my former financial advisor, um, she got it when she was gifted it um, when she went to Ghana or her friend went to Ghana, then came back and gifted it to her or something like that. And she was like, look at me staying. You know, I ain't wearing I ain't wearing stuff like this. But you in here with the dashikis and your whole back to Africa looking stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I figured, oh, this is a nice gift to give him. And so she gifted it to me. Uh, she just showed it to me and asked if I want it. She barely got the question. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, I want that joint. So um, shout out to her, man. Um, you know, I definitely have a, a nice little collection of um, things from mainly from West Africa and stuff. So, yeah. The necklace. So in terms of meaning, she didn't know. Um, I do have a homie who's from Ghana and she she didn't really give me much information. She was like, oh, it's really nice. That was probably made and blah, blah, blah. She knew the area, but she didn't couldn't tell me much more than that. You know, so, yeah, it's decorative for now until the hey. ancestors tell me otherwise. <laughs> hey, very unique. It's nice. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Another question. How about it, guys? So for me, I'd like to produce more. Um, Because when we collaborate, the most I'm doing is laying down like oohs and ahs and backgrounds, also playing ukulele and laying that down too, and maybe helping with like structure, maybe. Um, But that's a lot, bro. Yeah. (laughs) All I'm doing really is (laughs) all of this. (laughs) I'd rather rather be behind the actual computer than behind the board. that's something I'd like to do to challenge myself, actually. And then also um, uh, write in other languages, too, because mm. I mainly just write. And I, I, I really appreciate people that can write in, in you know, bilingually or, or just in because in, not every language is translated to each other. And when mm. you can act like have lyrics that, you know, just make sense or you can communicate with different people, it's just like it's a really cool thing, a very beautiful thing, too. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Super dope. Obviously, yeah. how about you? Uh, I think for me, it's always like, I always want to explore different genres because I think before hip hop, all mm-hmm. I really had to listen to was like emo, like rock music and like indie music and like progressive rock and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, like growing up playing guitar, like that's the stuff that I learned. So it was interesting that I started producing hip hop like out of everything. But I think, you know, I have some like indie, like emo stuff in the works, but you know, I want to do a little bit more of that stuff eventually too. Dope. Yeah. Yeah. Dope. Nah, that's dope. Um, for that. me, uh, I'm, you know, I've talked about it with uh, the missus, my, my business partner. Um, you know, I want to uh, we're, we're talking about doing a one man show, um, you know, over the years and stuff. Like if you've ever seen me live, you know, especially my sets where I have a little bit more breathing room, like I got a DJ behind me. So it's a little more stop and go. Um, I like conversing with the audience and stuff, you know, it's, it's like, I wouldn't call it stand up, but like, I mean, I crack my jokes and stuff like that. Um, and you know, just try to have a good atmosphere while also dropping the gym here and there, mixing it with the performance of the music and all of that. And so, you know, we've talked about a potential one man show, just really, uh, like telling my story, like my, my life story and all of the different turns it's taken. And uh, presenting it in a way where it's a mixture of musical performance, um, storytelling, I wouldn't say acting per se, but just, um, you know, me being my authentic self, but like not necessarily limiting it to just like rapping per se. You know what I mean? Just all of the different things that make me me. And, um, you know, even some of my visual arts uh, art as well, because I have a visual art background Went to Pratt. Shout out to Pratt Institute as well, man. The college uh, where I met my wife and where I developed my skills as a graphic designer. Congrats to them. We uh, Pratt recently went from number eight in the world for colleges for art and design to number seven. So, you know, shout out to my alma mater and all that good stuff, man. You know, but yeah. Next. Hell yeah. 
How about you guys? Y'all got some newness coming? Yeah, the homie today actually just announced That's that right. we're both featured on the track. The so, homie, homie Benzer mm-hmm. from, from L.A. right now. He's some good R&B stuff that me and O'Reilly are working on. Another um, singer uh, featuring, oh. featuring both of us. So, yeah, that'll be out on May 13th. Nice. Yeah. That's what's up. Let's see. Uh, let me see. You know, yes, there's newness coming. Uh, maybe, maybe I play a snippet or something. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. A little spur of the moment. Like, hey, let me hit you with something. I'm ready. Uh, yeah. So I'm working on my new album, and I cleared a sample for the record. And uh, this is the song. I'll play a verse of it, maybe the chorus too. How about that? You know what I mean? But this, uh, so the album was called Adulting, but now it's called Adultish. And uh, this track that I'm about to play is called The Long Route. And this is not mixed, it's just a rough, but this is a little sample of what's coming down the pipeline. Let me know if y'all can hear that good. Yeah. Let me know if it's too loud. Ain't no shortcuts to reach longevity, man. Yeah. We rarely choose a path where success is all but secure. We test the limits daily, get sure and we're built for more. Stepping over bodies that's washing up on the shore. Ironically, they wasn't self doubt or seldom endure. I'm no stranger to struggle, I've become a connoisseur. No standing for experience, wisdom ain't in brochures. But I find greatness anonymous with the journey that's arduous. Survivor don't always make you popular with the populace. Some would rather get posthumous recognition. Easier to miss than love you, cause love requires commitment. Back when I was a pauper, but chose to offer enrichment. I named my nephew wealth long before we knew what rich meant. Not defined by my pigment, but guided by my descendants. And in this hour of chaos, this moment's barely a minute. A millisecond, but when you heard it, the realness beckoned. There's the born out of lies, we call that a misconception. Yeah, man. Snippets. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm working on. This next uh, solo album, man. Uh, and that's produced by me. It was uh, super exciting to uh, to do that. Like my my MO for the record, like I'm trying to make sure that like, you know, I don't have to worry about clearing anything or whatever for it. I mean, not clear. Uh, not I'm I'm trying to make sure that the stuff I am sampling is stuff I'm gonna be able to use with no problem. And then I know some amazing musicians who are putting like high caliber music out, and it just hit me one day. I'm like, yo, why don't just why like for the tracks where I feel like I want to sample somebody, why don't I just sample people I know, and I can just hit them up and work out something favorable for everybody involved. But more importantly, get to promote other dope, dope artists that I actually know. You know what I mean? So, uh, so shout out to uh, Tamara Wellens, um, you know, for allowing me to sample her record. And uh, all of that sample information will be available when the song come out too. But that's going to be on the new LP, solo album coming out. Um, yeah, man. But what did y'all think, fellas? What, you know, I think it's your first time hearing it, right? That was very Glasper of you. Like yeah, it, it was, it was super soul. smooth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. man, I I'll take that. We love it seriously. That's that thank you, one. thank you, man. Shout out to uh, my bassist, um, my man Jonathan. He yo, he's nasty, super Ooh. nasty. Yeah. But uh, everything else uh, was me chopping up all that goodness. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. Warpath. Warpath. <laughs> Advocacy, advocacy. She called you. She called you advice. Right. <laughs> oh, right. Who were each some of your biggest musical inspirations, mm. and what first yes. time artists did you like to work with? Ooh. Good think, question. I think uh, off the top of my head, of course, New Jabez. I mean, I've listened to New Jabez since I was like six. I'm like I'm only 22, but I was like six when I first discovered New Jabez. I'm like that's wow. one of them. Jay Dilla, of course. I've been on a very big Slum Village phase lately. Um, Tom Mish, that's a big one. Mm. Uh, Tom is dope. I'm trying to think of who else. Uh, you know, just a lot, a lot of like those the, the neo soul like producers right now. I'm, I'm really messing with a lot of like a lot of that. But um, a big artist I'd like to work with. I think right now I'm really messing with a uh, 
with Denzel Curry. I feel like that's someone I'd want to like yep. hear over something I'd make one day, but yeah. It's dope. Um, for myself, um, New Jabez as well. I have a New Jabez tattoo, like yeah. not gonna lie, I'm like army for New Jabez. Um, <laughs> and um, as far as like singing and songwriting, um, MJ, Michael Jackson, um, Justin Timberlake, uh in sync and like the late 90s and early 2000s r&b as well um yeah that's and it's it's kind of weird to go from new jabez to like <laughs> pop but um i grew up off of a lot of like r&b and neo soul too uh, my mom would just play like really old like like the old like jill scott cds and, and music soul child stuff and that's just been like a part of me like since like i was like three or four I, I used to like be sick of the Sade album, and now I like totally appreciate the Sade album too. It's kind of oh, Sade is a goddess. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like as a kid, I didn't appreciate it, but now I'm just like, thank you yeah. for, for hammering that into like my mind. You know? Yeah, there, there's certain artists, man, that are they are meant for adults, <laughs> right? Like, and it's not that they're saying anything profane or whatever. And it's always funny when people call cursing like adult language, right? Because it's just like, if you use it, you're being childish, but it's adult language, right? Like it, it's kind of, you know, but anyway, but there's certain artists that the way they write um, in terms of their song structure, the the subject matter, um, the sound of it just is a bit more like mature or um, just developed in a way that isn't necessarily, um, it's not. It's not it's not that it's not easy to consume, but it's more so it's for it's very it's for a very specific palette. Right. Like it's a very specific palette that is for people who appreciate that thing. And Sade is that I would say Anita Baker is that as well. Um, Jill Scott, who I love. Jill Scott's one of my favorites. Um, she is as well. But shout out. Hey, can I just listen, man? I'm going to just shout. I'm going to go out on a limb and just shout out. A lot of Filipino fam families that I've met over the years where like, hey, man, I don't know what. Listen, I don't know what's in the water be, but like in terms of knowing like amazing music or at least music I connect with. I have some great conversations with folks um, from that part of the world, man, about their their musical taste. But not just that in terms of their musical ability too. it's a really great documentary I saw that was just talking about. Um, like singers um, from Filipino, like uh, I mean, from um, from the Philippines, pardon me, but like singers that perform at these bars and different things like that. And they were talking about how like Christmas, they start prepping for Christmas in like October. I'm like, yo, it's a different world, B. I got to go. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. But listen, just shout out to y'all for for, you know, the amazing taste in music and and, you know, the quality y'all are producing, man. And your whole community out here just killing it. You know what I'm saying? We don't even yeah. know what it is either. Like, why well, Filipinos just slap yeah, onto yeah. R&B and hip hop, and it goes way back too. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, man. Love yeah, it. it's crazy. It's definitely something I've noticed over the years. You know what I mean? All right, got another one. Uh, Jack. Yeah, Gutierrez. You can scroll it up, son. Jack says, "How was it working with Sistar? Sice is my man. I actually owe Sice a phone call. We haven't spoken quite some time." Um, I was hoping I might get to see him over the summer, but it depends on how things work out. But I'm gonna keep it moving because we got a lot of questions. Go back up. All right, hold on. What we got next? Yeah, so many. Oh, right there, right there. There you go. Bang. What's your biggest message you wish to send through your music, guys? All right, y'all can take that. Me first. Yeah, if you could. Man. Um literally when i'm writing <laughs> that's the message i want to give out and and also just to like appeal to you know if someone's listening to my to my music and my songs i just hope that there's like one person that like really really resonates with it because that's like the most validating thing for me is like if you if you really got something for what i just said then that's that's everything i i don't feel alone it's validating for me you know what i mean and, and i do this as like it's it's like a therapy it's it's like it's spiritual it's it's like a it's it's just what i live for too you know kind of like going back to like that first question about like like what do we want with our art it's mm -hmm. we we just want you guys to hear what we have to say it's our message yeah so. that's what's up yeah i would say oh go ahead obviously my bad uh i think just personally for me i think like just compassion just peace and just like 
think camaraderie is like what I want to like give out through like what I'm making because like 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 I grew up with like not very many people that listen to the same like stuff that I listen to but like being able to connect with them like about it has been like one of the biggest like blessings of my life like me and Orion like we bond over like the same music all the time we'll just stay up just listening to like Uyama or Joseph Jacobs or just like all these like great like great peaceful like music and it's just like yeah I want to be able to like that too. contribute a little bit to like that. when you share the same love of something that really really resonates with you like if like like for example Ninja Bez and Kuyama it's like healing music and to you know vibe with those people of the same energy is a beautiful thing too you know what I mean yeah that's dope that's dope yeah I would say the main message in my music man is just you know one of like trying to love life fully you know like from the the ups the downs like all of these moments and appreciating um that journey like you know um understanding that everything that I've gone through you know has led me to this to these moments you know like when I was performing just listening to the messages and different songs that I was doing like I'm reflecting on when I went to go do uh, the song spilled milk and where I was like in that particular moment in my life financially and how difficult things were um you know because that was the first time I was trying to just do music full time and um while dealing with like some really difficult challenges and you know and i'm i'm forever an optimist man so i try to put that optimism in my music and i think sometimes that because i'm an optimist and i try to you know i do have my down moments and stuff um you know I, and i try to accurately uh, reflect that in my music too but at the end of the day what keeps me going the reason why i'm still alive I'm still here is because yo i, I truly believe that things can only get better if if one i'm working toward making things better but also if i'm alive to be around to see it you know what i mean so um so i try to put those messages in my music and whenever i get the chance to really tell my story about what i've gone through um you know i definitely try to do that because i think sometimes because people hear positive messages or see a person who's trying to be uplifting with their message they sometimes think that they haven't experienced certain things so um so and part of the reason why I did youth work for so long specifically in communities that were close or very similar to the ones I was raised in because the kids would make the same assumption right they'd see I got to dress a certain way because I'm at a certain place or like I'm talking a certain way because it's a, because it's a professional setting you know what I mean um and they would just assume that I wasn't from a place like where they were from and then when I tell them my story and they hear some of the, the you know not so great moments um, they realize like, man, if this dude can get through and be like, you know, have this attitude, I don't know how he did it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to figure it out because, um, you know, I, I realized that was giving people, uh, giving people hope. You know what I mean? That wasn't necessarily the, the original goal, but when I became aware of what it was my music was doing for folks, um, I tried to embrace that a bit more and balance it out with some of the other things I was doing, you know? All right, let's keep it moving. I know questions are coming in. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah uh, they were asking, uh, do I know what's up with Shingo? Yes, I spoke to Shingo, I feel like two, oh, two weeks ago, something like that. He was good when I spoke last. He got some things in his life that have been changing, which was great. Um, but I ain't trying to put all this personal information out there. But he's doing well um you know and hopefully we'll be working on something soon which will be the first time we collaborate on the track i'm trying to get him on the album he said he was with it he liked the beat so uh hopefully that pans out you know what i mean um something pretty pretty crazy i wanted to mention that you brought up Shingo. oh that's right Go ahead. we went to a trip to hawaii together just for like a couple of days yeah and we went to a, a record store like in the arts district over there and i bought mm -hmm. like the our productions record over there so they mm -hmm. had it like, oh, shoot Walking out of the vinyl store, our friend Patrick, whose garage we're in right now, he's like, I think I just saw Shingo. He was like, no way. We're just like, what? Like, no way. I just like bought them and like we literally see him. Mm. And then like, yeah, we, we get to meet him. He signs my record, everything's like a picture with him. And I'm like, yeah, dude, it's crazy coincidence. Five yeah. minutes after I yeah. bought him, that he's on, like we run into him. That's what's up. Yeah, man. He yeah, he's I you too, Stan. I told, Say him again? We, I told him that we were that we were working together too. Oh, uh, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, man. Nah, he's great, man. He's a great dude. Super chill, man. Um, you know, it's definitely 
uh, like being able to build with him over the years and and chop it up, do these shows and spend time and stuff, break bread. Man, he's a real good dude, you know. Uh, what we got next? Ha, huh, that's a great question. Uh, me, I would say early in the morning to like around the noon. I would say like it's like probably like early morning to like around like um like early early afternoon um in the evening man I'm I'm usually doing so much you know I got kids I got work I got a business I got I got a lot and so I'm just so run down by the end of the day I really have been trying to do better with not staying up all night to create like I used to do in my younger days and I just really just find some program like you know different shows or different uh educational things or whatever something just to kind of escape and not be a rapper or not be a producer for a little while and just kind of um enjoy because i'm a movie i'm a what do they call it uh um it's called the um when you are super into movies a, a cinephile i think it is i'm trying to make sure i say that right so people don't mishear it you know what i mean um but it's very important to get that word right um but um i'm a super movie buff man like uh and so that's my way. In the evening is usually when I'm escaping, watching other people's stuff. And I'm only working late these days if I got, like, deadlines. But other than that, early, early. How about y'all? Uh, for me, uh, definitely, like, nighttime, even super late, like, past midnight. Um, that's when I'm the most vulnerable, at least. But I can, like, channel mm. into myself. But I feel the most inspired throughout the day because mm -hmm. I'm thinking about, like at night, like, wow, this is such a great idea. I can't wait for like the next, like, you know, I can't wait for like 5 p.m. to hit so I can actually go and take care of what I'm doing right now and just write it down, you know? Mm. So, yeah, I feel always inspired during the day. That's for sure. That's what's up. How about you, Avisi? I feel like my creativity kind of is in random spurts, but I don't know if this answers the question, but like, I think I feel the mo most creative, like, after I don't do anything, like, if, that, if I just like go out and just live my life for like a couple of days and like I come back to yeah. it, I think I feel the most creative. Man. And I think you could probably, like, everyone could probably agree with that as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Dope, dope. Let's see what we got next. <laughs> yeah, um, it's funny that you mentioned that. Um, it's still music related, but uh, I've been thinking about it a lot, man. Um, you know, just basically seeing how the next few things I'm working on goes or whatever. Um, I've been thinking about making a shift at some point. I mean, I already run a company that helps creatives, um, you know, in the music industry by consulting them and working on different projects and helping people fundraise for projects and things like that. So, I mean, I kind of see myself, uh, like working with more companies, um, you know, dealing with the arts and music and small businesses, just really, um, you know, just man, just trying to level the playing field because a lot of creatives, I don't know if y'all are familiar, but man, de definitely check out this new site that Spotify has called loud and clear, um, which kind of, it, it breaks down, like if you want to know based on how many monthly listeners you have, if you want to know where you place in this world of musicians, right? Because there's over, well, I think it's, uh, can't remember if it's 8 million or 80 million. I think something like that um, in terms of how many artists are actually on Spotify, right? And so if you're getting a certain amount of plays, so for example, with me having like around 105,000 monthly listeners, it places me like in the around like 51,000 top artists of like 8 million or 80 million artists in the world. Right. And that's crazy. And I think that knowing that data, like there's people out here, you know, the glasses, uh, half empty folks that be like, Oh damn. I'm like 51,000. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 51,000 and one I'm trash me. You know what I'm saying? But to think of the millions of people, that are in the world or whatever and consider the fact that yo like of the millions of folks who are doing this my stuff is amongst the top 50,000 artists doing this like that right there 
that type of information and knowing how to find that type of information, being able to provide artist context, being able to kind of lift them up and, and really kind of dispel certain notions that they have of their careers and, and like things that they've heard about through like a misinformation that they've gotten this. Cause a lot of the consulting I do is really, um, is helping people understand the information that they've heard. And a lot of times, you know, informing them when they've gotten misinformation and trying to show them better ways to do what they're doing. Um, you know, and so, yeah, man. So I definitely see myself kind of focusing more on just helping and serving other artists. You know, I can't take this stuff with me as Denzel was saying. So like, you know, I'm just trying to give back wherever I can. And then the past has been working in education and working with young people. And I just took on whatever roles that were out there. But like, I'm very specific nowadays. I'm trying to serve the arts community specifically because I see the way our art, our music impacts the world. So I want to make sure that we get the resources we need to continue to thrive and make stuff that is making the world a bit better. Like literally this performance that we did, this Q&A we're doing might be helping somebody who's watching right now. You know what I mean? Somebody just said that me shouting out the Filipino community or whatever just made their wife whole day. And it's just like, you know, I didn't plan that. I was just the observation. And then I said a thing. And then somebody was like, oh, thank you. And it might have been someone else who's like, why are you talking about the Filipino community? You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, I can't predict it. But hey, man, I think at the end of the day, I just want to do what I can to help my fellow creatives. And I'm super passionate about that. That was a long-winded answer, but the floor is yours, gentlemen. It's all good. We we recognize that though. You really you really do help out. So mm. um appreciate it. For myself, what I'm most passionate about, it it's so hard for me because I've I've had so many like jobs in general where I had an opportunity for a career and, and I've I've dropped all of them. And and I started uh I started performing around town and playing at bars and, and hotels and just singing for for you know for, to, for a living. So it's hard to go backwards for me, to be honest. But as far as like something that I could be passionate about, I guess it, it's got to be similar to Stan, like something that kind of still involves music, but but not necessarily like, you know, being an artist, a music artist. Um, if I can support somebody else in some kind of way in, in their art career, then that's, that's, it's pretty fun. I just like touching, you know, that kind of industry, if that makes sense. Uh, I think for, for me, uh, before I left school, I was actually studying with plans, uh, studying psychology with plans to be either a school counselor or a therapist. So I'm very mm -hmm. much like wanting, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty like quiet person, but I just, mostly because I just love listening to what other people have to say, like no matter what it is they're going through. I'm like, I'm, I'm very much a listener and I'm very much like an interpersonal communicator. And, you know, maybe later down the line, it's something else I want to do, but you know, yeah. that's, I'm, I'm I agree. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's what's up. All right. What you got? Huh. Favorite part of the process of creating music. Yeah. I, I don't think, I mean, I think it varies from day to day. Um, this, uh, look, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there, man. I like listening to what I've created. <laughs> and that might seem super shallow like man this dude is just driving around listening to his stuff yes yes i am i i because i know how much you know like when you've put out i've put out hundreds of songs like i i feel like i've probably hit i'm either halfway there or i've or close to hitting that thousand mark at some point in time um in terms of how many songs i've made right so and i know it's halfway there in terms of what has been released and truthfully when you put out that much music you hear stuff you've done and you're constantly in your mind thinking about what would you change and blah 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 this that and the third so when i make something new i spend a ridiculous amount of time listening to it just really really studying it um before it's released to everybody like i probably listen to this stuff like hundreds of times and you know and like I hear like little ad libs and stuff that I think might add something to it or whatever. And like I might have recorded the song a month ago. And until that thing is released, I'm still like, ah, oh, this might be interesting. You know what I mean? Or 
Ooh, so I just bumped into my friend who plays violin, who I haven't seen in a month, and I haven't released that song yet. And I was thinking about adding violin to it. I guess who I'm guess who's playing on it now. And so, yeah, man, I I enjoy the listening experience, man, and I I enjoy the the whole act of sharing it as well. Someone I think it was Warpath that said um, he was like when Stan played the thing and had the face like. Like, I know y'all gonna love this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I think every artist, or not every artist, a lot of artists um, have these moments where, because I'm always thinking about the live exchange, like how people, um, like when I perform it, like I, you know, the, I'm writing it in a way where it's not just for listening, right? I'm thinking about live performance as well. And, and I've been that way since I was like 15 or 14. Like, you know, prepping my uh, my set and putting little drops in the beats and stuff when I was rapping over other people's instrumentals so I could give lines a moment to breathe. And then not being an artist that, even though I can do the whole, you know, lyrical miracle, whatever, I can do the complicated, like, metaphors and similes and all of that, I would still, because I came up as a battle rapper, a lot of times artists are trying to compound and put a lot of this stack in it real heavy and depending on the song like if i was writing it and i knew it was going to be mostly listened to then i do that and compound it real heavy but if i know that this particular song is probably going to be better experienced live as opposed to listening at home if it's more of a live performance song then i don't compound those type of lines as much because it gives people the chance to respond to the one line and then I'm setting up another line. So like if they respond to that, there's a whole lot of noise being made. They're about to mix, miss at least the next bar or two, depending on how hyped they are when I say it. So I don't like put line after line after line. I'll just do something intricate with flow or like, you know, little things like that. So I've been like that and been writing that way for a long time. And so me listening to my stuff and digesting it and like just kind of, Doing that over and over again has helped me as a writer, has helped me as a producer too, you know. For sure. Um, for myself, um, as as a writer, I feel like I'm writing all the time, but when it comes down to laying down backgrounds, like background harmonies and ad libs, dubs, all of that, man, it's such a fun. It's just a cool process. Like I, I feel like. I get in the zone with that and like just to lay down chords with my voice i just feel i just feel so cool like i'm just like wow i made that like that's crazy <laughs> but that's just for me you know that's what's up. yeah i think for me I, I still feel like i'm very much like a beginner in like my beat making like producer like career but there's sometimes where i'll make something and I, i'm just like you saying i'll listen to my, my shit all the time mm -hmm. but there's sometimes i'll make something and i'll be like damn like this is like this doesn't even sound like i made it yeah. There's those moments where I'm just like this sounds like someone else made this shit. I'm just like, yeah. and that's why like I don't know. Like every time I have that, I just feel like I grow like a little bit. Like every time, mm -hmm. I think that's like, yeah, still being like a beginner in this, I still feel like it's, it's a really good feeling. Yeah. You're leveling up. Yeah. Right. That's right. All right. Yeah. Next one, we got Soul Tiger. It's for you guys. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to figure out what nerdcore is. Uh, oh, let me yeah. educate you. Oh, thank so, you. So yeah, so rappers who um like typically kind of rap about uh, like different pop culture references, maybe like uh I mean things like anime. They make a lot of songs that are anime inspired or inspired by like video game stuff. Um, you know. Sometimes they're rapping over stuff that samples from anime or video games and things like that. And, uh, you know, this artist who've written songs from the perspective of characters in these games or shows, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, so any artist you listen to who makes stuff like that, that you'd be interested in working with uh, really? artists to think of is like mega ran. If y'all have ever, ever listened to Med mega ran, he's like a pioneer in that lane. Gotcha. No, uh, real quick. Apologize dogs are going off right now but all good know. it happens you know what i'm saying I, mean, I'm not, I got dogs i had choppers you know what i'm saying it was real <laughs> you know i'm not exactly sure i listen to it either. i i but i think like certain like i said denzel curly uh, curry earlier but i feel like some of his stuff has that like 
that nerdcore. His shit's still mm-hmm. hard though, but like he yeah. has like, that like those little like anime references, little video game movie references that I think like made like the game a little bit more like fun and exciting too. Like when it was getting mm-hmm. like you know, but you know, I think that's that's one of them. Yeah, I don't yeah. know about you. <laughs> it, it's I, I gotta think about that like way more. <laughs> but like, there's a lot of producers that I listen to that are very like video game inspired. They use a ton of like 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 GameCube, PlayStation kind of sounds, if that makes sense. Like that, like specifically those video game kind of sounds. And so, yeah, I think like the like the 2014, 2015 SoundCloud like era too. And like yeah, a, lot, a lot of select yeah. artists are like Selection, that for sure. Yeah, wow. um, but that's probably yeah, that's the best answer I could give. I got to okay. think. Okay. Cool, Stratus. <laughs> Hmm. That's an interesting question for y'all. So if y'all could remix one of my songs and contribute to fifty percent of it rather than doing a hook, one I'll verse would be. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let you answer then. I'll, I'll see what has to say. Uh, that's tough. What would it rather do? Hey, blessing it was dope though. I know yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was a dope remix. That was yeah. when when I watched it, I was like, man, I was surprised. That was dope. Man, I don't know. Sometimes I listen to your hook stand and like. Like blinding light. I was about to say blinding I, sometimes light. I just I harmonize over like blinding light or like just, mm. and I I like hooks. So I mean, it, yeah, that's that's a hard one too. <laughs> uh, thank you, man. Shout out to Marcus D, man. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. No. man. Shout out to uh, there's a rapper, um, uh, this woman I knew back in the day, man, who super was a super dope rapper. She went by Flo Brown. Um, she was on the soundtrack for the movie Hurricane, had a song with like the roots, and I think most Def was on it. Um, super dope. She was super dope from Jersey. And she was the one who was one of the first people in my ear, like knew your best when I did If I Was Your Mic. He really liked when I was playing around with the melody and stuff and was pushing me to do more of that on that song. Um, but then later, Flo Brown heard a song called What I Love, and where I was doing the same thing for the chorus, just added a slight melody to it. Because, um, yeah, man, I was, uh, you know, like a lot of kids and stuff. I was in chorus when I was younger, and then my voice started to change and get much deeper. And so, um, you know, I got picked up on honors chorus, like basically for um, junior high into my first year of high school, uh, where basically it was like the top singers at different schools or whatever put in together, put um, from your county, put together for um, competing. And so I was uh, baritone and sometimes uh, would sing uh, tenor um, if necessary. And that, um, yeah, man, that just kind of gave me a little bit of foundation. So I can do some basic stuff, and I know how to layer it up to make it sound a little little nicer than it probably would sound if I was just singing by myself. But uh, but I appreciate, man. I appreciate, you know. Um, it's funny, when I added the stuff to Beautiful Work, I already knew. I was like, I'm going to just add a little something, and I know he's going to put some bells and whistles on it, and it's just going to sound dope. You know what I'm saying? Go team, go. Yes, you sir. know, and. Yeah, man. Let's see what we got. Take a few more before we dip. Do you? Oh, do you recommend artists to stay independent? Not necessarily, right? I feel like independent. If you you can't be scared of hard work, and I think it's easy to think that oh, everyone works hard. Yeah, there's levels to everything, <laughs> right? And um. There are a lot of artists who there's a line in beautiful work. I quote the line of beautiful work where it's like um, someone to get gold uh, before they ever reach their goals. Right. Like some people want the spoils more than they actually want the the, um, you know, like they, they say they want to do a particular thing as a career, but they really just kind of want to get to the finish line. The grunt work that's necessary for them to get where they would like to be, they're not built for. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, I won't say this artist's name out here. I ain't trying to put – it's a good friend of mine, so I ain't trying to put him out here for everybody to go ask him a million questions. But I remember, man, I had an artist friend with me, a uh, friend who came to live with me for a short period of time. And he was excited because he knew I was in it heavy and stuff, and he had done shows with me, and we'd done things together over the years. Uh, years but like yo i had a show in boston and we had to go rent one car we had like a small a smaller sedan we had to go rent that car 
drive to do this show in Boston. I bring them onto the set. We do our things. It's all exciting, right? And then after that, we had to drive back um, to New York. Uh, we were in Brooklyn. Go pick up a different riddle. We had to get a van, a larger one, because we had more of the crew traveling with us to Atlanta to do something different, right? And this is all happening within a span of three days, right? Outside of the recording that has to happen, outside of the fact that I had a job at J.P. Morgan Chase working like with investment bankers, you know what I mean? Like I'm doing that five days a week, but I'm still doing shows, short tours, uh, producing stuff for folks, running an independent label, traveling outside of the country here and there. I'm doing a lot. And that homie spent one, you know, one week just kind of seeing what my life was like. You know what I'm saying? And yo, and then literally, even though he was living with us, he started going out doing other things. Like it was almost like he was ducking, like trying not to be around the music so much. Because again, people like the fun side of it. They like the idea of it more than they actually like the work. So I would say if, if you know, if you're a person who is capable of handling the load that is necessary uh, for you to carry being independent, Sometimes being your own manager, sometimes being your own booking agent, sometimes being your own producer, engineer, um, you know, your own promoter, marketer, all of these different things. It's a lot of hats, man. And if you don't have the money to pay other people to do it, then you're going to have to learn to do it yourself. Um, so, you know, so I would say if you believe that is something you have the the bandwidth to handle, high five for Jesus, go team, go, go get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, if you are blessed enough where you're in you're in a position where majors or or independent um, labels, you know, independent labels are in a position to offer you some money to do something with you and back what it is you're doing and put a little money behind you so you don't have to do it on your own. If they're offering you a solid deal and, and you understand what a solid deal looks like, um, then I would say that, you know, that's something worth looking into because, you know. My situation with Hideout was definitely one of the better um, situations I've had. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the best situation I ever had with a label, but it put me in a position to grow my brand. Right. But the thing I learned with being with them and every other label, you got to understand that the label's job is to build their brand, not yours. Right. They're trying to build their brand and get as many artists and, you know, and and producers and all of these different people to come in and help them build their brand overall so they can continue to break new artists and hopefully push a certain artist that maybe is of, at a certain level for a certain period of time. But they're always going to be about themselves first and foremost, um, at least the ones that are running the way a label is designed to be run. So you as long as you are understanding that, and understanding that, like, you know, they might look out for you here and there, but they're always going to look out for their best interests because that's how you run a successful business. Right. And so so it's your job to look out for your best interests and don't take it personal when they're just doing what they can to protect their investment. Right. And so, yeah, man, it's that's a. I'm already long winded, but trust, there's so much more to that, so many layers to that. And we don't have all night this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to stop there. All right. Uh, there you go. Uh, shout out to homie RJ. Uh, I've been pretty big into to Chinese tea the past like year, or so I'm, I'm I'm pretty big on on that. I drink that multiple times a day. Puts me in the best mood to do anything really. It's you know I think everyone should try it. I'm, I'm gonna mm -hmm. say. Exact same thing. Um, <laughs> we've been into like bougie tea lately, like it's because in in America, you know, like you know how like the history of tea in America, it's 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 you know frowned upon, and we're all coffee drinkers out here. But right. uh, discovering tea, um, Chinese tea specifically, it's it's just a man. It's 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 a whole practice. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a lifestyle, yeah. and uh, yeah. for me, it's it, it helps my throat. Like literally, it helps me sing better. Um, mm -hmm. and, some caffeine it gives me some energy to you know motivation to, to, to make some beautiful music it's <laughs> a good question <laughs> right. look i'm gonna get me some tea right after this sure. yeah man um i would say my favorite meal slash drink um good mood for from that helped me get in a good mood i haven't had it in a while we haven't gone to spizzy in a while 
Um, but yeah, shout out to the homie uh, Vic, my man Victorious. He uh, runs a smoothie shop called Spizzy. Man, a great smoothie. You know what I mean? And give me like some little Jamaican patties. Hey, bro, I'm good. I'm I'm ready. I'm rets. I'm rets to go. You know what I'm saying? So that was our second answer. Was smoothie. Yo, I yeah, I. I, I I'm a fiend for smoothie. Yeah, man, a great smoothie, man. We'll get it done. Just a quick little energy burst. I throw a little bit of ginger in there too. Spice up my life a little. Get the shoulders going, you know, man. Let's get yeah. it. You know, a little, little sprinkle. You know what I'm saying? Look like salt, baby, but with with ginger. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got next. There we go. Jay says that shape you the most as an artist person to become an artist Ugh. jesus yeah uh i'll let y'all take that and i'm gonna try to think the shortest way to answer that yeah. um, i think as of lately i think just going out and like meeting people with just like different experiences and like different like beliefs and different backgrounds has like really like helped shape me like not as, like just as an artist, but just like as a person in general, like going about my life like on this world. So like, I think I've been made it like made it like a point in my life to just like go out and like understand, and meet people, and just you know experience things. Yeah. For me, it was um I, I was a a drummer, an aspiring drummer before I was an aspiring like singer and songwriter, and um I I got I got let go from a band, and the band was like they were they were on the come up and and they were doing well. Um, but when I got let go, I was like, you know what? Like I should just make my own music, like because that that's that's their music. I'm just helping them out. And I, I I'll make the music that I like, you know. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's like a, like a straight up experience of mine where I just like, all right, it's time to be an artist. So that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. I would say, um, you know, of course, like there's so many life experiences. It's hard to just pick like one in particular. But I would say um, when I left for when I left for college um, in the 90s, it was still the 90s, uh, that experience I had during college probably shaped me the most as a visual artist because I left to go to Pratt Institute in Brooklyn. Um, and then also as a musician, um, you know, it's where I met Tomo, a.k.a. Sphere of Influence, who introduced me to Nujabes. It's where I met um, Pumpkinhead, a.k.a. PH, rest in peace to him. Um, oh, by the way, book out now with the foreword written by uh, Buster Rhymes. But that dude, man, um, I learned so much from being around him. It's where I'm uh, living there is where I met my wife and I've written like albums worth of songs about her. It's where I met Tone and Pac FM, all of these amazing um, folks. And so, yeah, man, um, you know, definitely my, that college experience, man, being in New York, living on my own. Um, the best advice I was ever given um, as well was from the homie, uh, shout out to Michael Blacklight. He was just challenging me because I was more known as a battle rapper at that time and wasn't writing a lot of intro, uh, introspective stuff. And when I would write the the those type of songs, he was just like, I need you to take the same care that you take with your, your punchlines and and yeah, all of that and how you do the battle raps, I need you to take that same level of care and um, ferocity and, and use that to, that same ferocity when you're writing these songs about life and your experience and all of that. Because it, it'll make it, it'll just make it, um, you know, a bit more appealing and help you get your message across better. Um, just showcasing your ability no matter what the topic is. And I was like, wow. Um, he just helped me grow so much, man. But anyway, man, that college experience was definitely it. Uh, we are almost out of time because we're going to wrap at 1030. So we're going to do lightning round, try to do one sentence and one word uh, sure. answers. And I'm really just talking to myself, fellas. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, it says, uh, do you guys ever plug your music when meeting new people? Not really. I mean, it's I guess it's, it's it's circumstantial. I guess I'll say that. Yeah, but when when the opportunity is given, I do. I'm like, yeah. let me show you some music for sure. Yeah, short answer. Yes. Um, it's it's not like, hey man, nice to meet you. Want to hear me rap? You know what yeah. I mean? It's not like that. It's usually like, you know, hey, where where you coming from, man? Blah blah blah. What what did you do today? And then I just, you know, that's the chance to plug it. You know. All right. 
What advice would you give to someone trying to reconnect with their music slash singing? Just do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just don't, dive in. Don't be, shy. don't be shy. Just just sing, sing loud, sing when you can. Like work on your voice whenever you, you have the given opportunity to do it. So yeah. Yeah. Sing, rap, or play like nobody's listening. Yes. You know what I mean? And just care a little bit less and just do it. Any notable public figures, artist, actor, anyone that you feel really influenced you, uh, who you became as a person, uh, what do you want it to be like or how you see things? Um, top of my head, Bruce Lee, because uh oh, the, so I, I looked dragon. Up, yeah, yeah, Bruce Lee, because we have the we have the same birthday. So I got into hey. that. And so I I was into him for a little bit. Um but I didn't. I don't know. I can't really explain too much about it. It's just as soon as I found out he had the same birthday as me, I was like, okay, let me look into this guy because maybe I could be like him. You know, simple answer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a reader. I'm reading this book by this author, uh, Thich Nhat Han. He's this Vietnamese like Buddhist like a uh, monk who like writes a lot of books that I've been like really into lately. If anyone's into reading and stuff, but yeah, Thich Nhat Han. Yeah. Nice. Word. Um, for me, it would be Gordon Parks, um, but more so me, like me in my 30s, um, you know, to now, um, because he's, you know, he embodies what I like to call a black of all trades. He was a dude who didn't feel like you could only master one thing. Um, he was an author. He was a, a, a photojournalist, an amazing photographer, probably the most famous photographer, um, definitely most famous African-American photographer. Um, and he was one of the first black film directors. He directed Shaft. Um, and he also was a composer. Uh, you know, this dude, and like he did all of these things at a really high level. And so, so he was definitely someone, um, who, who has influenced me in a lot of uh, ways. Um, and his book, uh, to smile in autumn, actually uh inspired my song autumn leaves with uh pismo and marcus d so yeah shout out to gordon parks the goat all right (laughs) haha you know i throw down (laughs) you know what i'm saying no i throw down in the kitchen um outside of that man like you know i watch I watch a lot of different type of stuff, a lot of documentaries. I watch a lot of um, a lot of shows, a lot of different movies. Uh, and I'm usually watching them while I'm cooking, because whenever I cook is rarely like a quick thing. Like lunch sometimes is thrown together fairly quickly. But whenever I'm in the kitchen, I'm in there cooking for like an hour to two when I prep meals. Um, and so. So that gives me a good amount. If it's a half hour show, man, I can get four episodes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, definitely just kind of taking in that because I I watch movies and shows and documentaries the way the way that a lot of like super hip hop heads listen to rap music. So I'm not just looking at the surface level stuff. I'm looking for the different shots and the shapes that are created with the angles that the shots are shot. I'm looking at the writing. I love musicals. I really love musicals. That's something I'd like to take a shot at doing someday. Um, you know, I know a lot of people in the hip hop community, not I ain't gonna say a lot, but certain people in the hip hop community think like someone like, um, uh, like Lynn Manuel, um, Miranda is a, maybe a bit uh, corny to some, but I would just say that, Hey, man, you try telling a whole story that's going to be a two hour film, right? Or a three hour play, like in rhyme form, right? Like it's not it's not an easy thing to do. And and that's part of the reason why I love musicals so much, because that type of writing, the, the lyricists who are writing those things, the people who are making the arrangement, these are like masters. These are masters of their craft. And so that's hella inspirational for me. Like I listen to that stuff. And so I'm excited because Black Thought actually has a musical, has a musical coming. And so when he said that, I was like, yo, this is why you're like my favorite rapper ever be because you get me, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? You get me son. Cause that right there, that level of artistry. So stuff like that, man, um, that's, that's uh, how I kind of, 
I don't know. I mean, it's relaxing for me, even though my brain is definitely like all cylinders firing. You know what I mean? Uh, when I'm taking in that stuff. But yeah, we got all the questions answered. Oh, made it through the gauntlet. Oh, we missed a question. One last question. Of course, Warpath. Right? <laughs> One last question. What's your most ambitious goal or aspiration in life, whether music or something else? Oh, most ambitious goal. I, how about y'all, fellas? Well, this is a good one to end with. It's a heavy one. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Yeah, because the most ambitious is like I just think of biggest picture. Um, man, I just I just hope to to live to live off my music. I mean, that's kind of on the surface, but mm. to to also do it righteously, live a righteous life off of my music. You know, with mm. with, with my art. I like that. And that's it. That's dope. For me, it's just to be as most like compassionate and understanding as I can be in like whatever span of life that I'm given. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um whew. <laughs> that, yeah, it's heavy because it's like I got I got a lot of different things. Um and it's hard to pick one. I would just say, you know, um, I mean, I'm kind of living, living it, so to speak. Like I knew I said to my sister when I was a teenager that I never understood how people. And this is just me being a young, dumb kid. And I was just like, I don't understand how people work jobs they don't love. Right. Like, I don't like, you know, I was looking at adults like they were crazy. I was like, what do you mean you don't like your job? Like, what do you mean? Because I hadn't got I hadn't had a job yet. But I also knew how to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like I was surrounded by hustlers and they were selling one thing. When I fi figured out that people wanted to buy my art or was willing to buy my art or willing to buy my music, I've just had a business mindset since elementary. Like I knew how to flip whatever it was I was good at doing. I knew how to turn it into money. And so, um, you know, and I think for a lot of artists, that's sometimes an uncomfortable thing. But a lot of my goals, because I feel like I've been walking in my truth for a very long time, I knew what it is I wanted to do for a living, and I found a way to to do it. And I worked some jobs I hated along the way, so I ate my own words, but I ultimately got back to my original goal of being able to provide, take care of myself and the people I love, a family of four, like doing music full time and helping artists full time. So this is what I do, which is a good segue to, hey, I hope you enjoyed the show. And even though it is a free show, feel free to donate if you have the ability to do so, because the funds do get divided between not just me, but also Avacy and Orion song and my PA assistant over here. My daughter, you know, what I mean, she gets a little cut of the pie, too. So, yeah, man, definitely. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy. Um, so for the applause, got the applause, high five, for Jesus, all that good stuff. Fellas, man, thank y'all so much, man. Do y'all have a good time? Yes, sir. Thank you for having us. Man. Yeah, man. It's been a pleasure. Been a pleasure. So, yeah, to everybody else, man, thank you so much for watching. A couple quick announcements before we go. Hey, Michael left. Thank you. Coming through in the clutch. Uh, you know, I, I hate to be doing that and pressuring folks, but you know what I mean? I know the the church folks say, the good church folks say, you have not because you ask not. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, put it out there, man. But um, quick. Uh, quick announcements before we go. Um, my next live show is going to be happening. Um, and I'm not talking about live uh, from home, but my next in-person show is actually going to be on the last Friday of May, which is a conflict with when I was planning to do the next live from home. So I'm trying to figure out uh, how I'm going to shift the date for that. But I'll let you know. But for those who want to see me in person performing live, I will be at MomoCon um through i want to say may 27th or 28th or whatever that friday or i'll get there thursday because i have a panel thursday show on friday and i'll be there selling merch doing interviews and all that stuff all weekend mega Rand will be there too um and a lot of other dope artists will be there so definitely come through if you're in atlanta or just want to go to a dope convention and make a trip out of it come see the kid and um lastly these little quick things. So, yo, we're getting merch ready. 
uh, for I'm going to be doing a Kickstarter campaign for the album real soon. It's probably going to launch at the end of May. But before that happens, we re up on merch. And so we got the Bop Alloy joints back. Look at that. What? You know what I mean? That's clean. So pre-orders for these, for those of you who weren't able to get uh, Bop Alloy hats when they first came out, um, those are going to be going up within the next week because next week is Bandcamp Friday. So they will be on Bandcamp and they will also be on my merch store. And then other cool merch like these are going to be getting added real soon. We're gonna we got the Mugen with the blue pen joints. Oh you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So the, got the button joint. Cause we had them as stickers now. We got the enamel pens. And then we got that joint. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, man. So yeah. So we got that as well. That'll likely be included with the campaign. So cool merch coming. All that good stuff. Hit me if y'all are interested. I'll give you more details soon. But on that note. Now it's time to say goodbye. Hey, man, thank you so much, yo. I appreciate you, fellas. Y'all be good, man. All right, I'll follow up with y'all via email soon. You know what I mean? Thank you, everyone in the chat, too. We, I, I read everything, so I was, I was just reading the whole time. Thank you. That's what's up. And so you're going to go to the, uh, the brand joint. All right, fellas. Uh, yo, y'all stick around behind the scenes for for a quick minute, just so I can close out with y'all, and then uh, and I let everybody else know because we're gonna pull you off in a second. So go ahead, take them out. All right, peace, peace, peace. All right, so um, yo, thank y'all, man, for watching live from home. Next uh, next guest is going to be Malcolm Jackson. Um, it may be a situation. I don't know if we're going to do it completely live or partly, um, pre-recorded kind of like how we did tonight. It depends because we may, like I said, there may need to be a date shift. Um, so I will keep y'all posted on that, but catch me every week on YouTube, substantial weekly tune in for that. We're going to be doing that, uh, next Friday, more updates and next Friday's Bandcamp Friday. So watch out for the merch announcements and music and all that good stuff. And on that note, we're out of here. Give them the logo. Take us out. You know what I'm saying? Peace.